Hey there everyone, we have this uh, circuit of resistors on parallel and on series and we are going to assume that the, each resistor in the circuit is 1 ohm just for simplicity. The idea here is just to see how we can solve this problem and the problem is to find the equivalent resistor for all of these series across this terminal. So we're going to reduce all of these resistors into one resistor and we, will, we want to find its value. As I mentioned, every R is 1 ohm. Okay, now the question is, where do we start? Uh, I think it's a good idea if you can pause this video and look at the circuit very well and see where you can start to uh, reduce this complicated sort of like uh, circuit into uh, one resistor. I'll give you a hint. There is actually at least two points where you can start. Okay? All right. I hope you thought about it, and I hope you found out the two points where our candidate where you can start is this one and this one, and or this one and this one. So whether you start with this, these two resistors, or these two resistors, then you would be okay, all right? I don't think there are any other points. You cannot basically come and add this one to any of those, because if you add this one to this one, then what's going to happen with this one? This one is connected to this one first, and so forth. You, you know, that's the, that's the most complicated thing when you are solving series and parallel resistors. So basically, you have to find out where to start, and I think I am going to start at these two. Since this is 1 ohm and this is 1 ohm, they are connected with one wire, all right? So they are basically connected with one wire and these are on series, even if the wire bends, that doesn't matter. So they are on series. So I am going to delete this one and delete this one, okay? And I'm going to make only one resistor and this one is going to be 2 ohm, okay? So that one is 2 ohm because we added two ones on series. Now, this one is 2 ohm and this one is 1 ohm. The rest of them is still 1 ohm, as you know, because that's we have not touched any of those. 1 ohm, 1 ohm, and so forth. Now, I'm going to go here because I think that would be an easier one to do. This is 1 ohm and this is 1 ohm, and these are on parallel. So if I want to add this one for this one on parallel, let me just do it here. So 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1, that will be equal to 2 over 1, but that's equal 1 over R equivalent. So if I want to have R equivalent for this one, it will be what? 1 over 2. So the addition of these two on parallel, 1 and 1, becomes what? 0.5 or 1 half. So I'm going to two do this quickly. I am going to reduce all of these into what? One resistor like this and its value is one half ohm. Okay? Now look, this one and this one and this one, they are all in series. These are all on series. The three of this. Well, this one, this one, this one. Even if the wire is bent, it doesn't matter. It's just still one wire. So I'm going to add all of these together. One plus one half is one and a half. This is two and a half, all of them together. So I'm going to actually delete all of these. And I'm going to delete this one. So these three resistors add up to two and a half ohm. Okay? All right, now this is a good thing now to do this in parallel because we cannot do this one and this one on series because this combination of these two parallel series are on on the way. You cannot do this one and this one, so you have to do this one first. These are on parallel, so the equivalent resistor is 1 over 2 plus 1 over 1, and that's equal to 1 over 2. This, if you want to make this a uh, common denominator, 1 over 1 is equal to 2 over 2. 1 plus 2 is 3 divided by 2, okay? That's 1 over R equivalent. And if you want to find for this one R equivalent, it will be equal to 2 over 3 
home and that that would be it for this one so I'm gonna delete all of that here this is equal to 2 over 3 home okay so now all of these are on series still one wire connecting them so 1 plus 2 over 3 2 over 3 is uh, I think is 0 0.77 or 0 0.66 I think 0 0.67 1 plus 1 uh, 0.67 is uh, 1.67 plus 2.5 so probably uh, so our equivalent total is going to be 1 plus 2 over 3 plus 2.5 is 5 over 2 okay and the equivalent for this one I'll use the calculator 4.17 4.17 ohm and that's it for this one so this whole complicated one reduces into this small circuit 4.17 ohm that's it thank you